Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Unbound. I think we're ready just to leave this time, right? We did everything we need to do. Yes, we're leveling up some of the lower levels of the God Squad. Uh, last episode, we learned a bit more about the lore behind everything. And then we went up against the Steel Electric Gym. Uh, and I think we need to go and get the goggles off some guy, right? Was he here? Was it you? Uh, yes, it's amazing. The Great Desert. It's difficult to reverse. Yeah, I know. What, how about my eyes? Ooh, I, I beat the gym. Great job, take these go goggles and explore the Great Desert. Brilliant, so we can now go to the east. Uh, go young fella, explore the Great Desert. That's not where I'm gonna go first though. Instead I'm gonna go into the, what's it called, Rift Cave. Definitely uh, distinct from the cliff cave that I mistook it for. And we'll do a little bit of leveling slash catching in here. Uh, I think we've got a ghastly already. So, I'm not too fussed about this. Okay, what is in the rift cave? Okay, don't know what I was expecting. There's a bronzor in the rift cave. We we already have one of you. Okay, this is. Mm, let's, let's see if a close combat will get a kill. Not a great tight matchup for us. That should be fine though now. Yeah. Uh, we'll make a decision, as I said. I think this was the one big thing that came from the last episode. We didn't hit, get everyone to hit the cap this time, which is the first time it's happened before a gym battle. So we were a little bit under-leveled in certain areas. So I think the decision has to be made now whether or not we stay with like our 18-man god squad or do I cut it down to 12. In which case, obviously, some people are going to get cut from the god squad. Uh, hmm. Okay, I see the problem now. <laughs> okay, so we're missing something to go to the Rift Cave. Alina. God damn you, demon. You're seriously only leaving Dahari now? Man, you are sure slow. Well, while you were loitering around, I figured out how to get to the Runes of Void. Of course, by the time I got there, it was already too late to do anything. Alina, just the girl I was looking for. Wait, who the heck are you supposed to be? Alina, have you seen Jax? Last I heard, he was planning to travel to the Ruins of Void. Whatever the Shadows were planning, they've already done it by the time I got there. I saw signs of a battle, but nobody was around. And that includes anyone named Jax. Alina, you were the last one to see him. What happened in there? Uh, I got teleported into a digital world, where I met my own digital companion, my digital friend. He made a digital from Rookie. To ultimate 2. And I had to save the Digi World for me. But I didn't have to save the Digi World for you because you weren't there. Okay. Aklov, I've never heard of him before. And it's just as I feared. The Dark Force has been released at last. What? Arthas has been trapped inside a cube, you say? What a madness. Oh no. If I know Zeph, there's only one thing he could have possibly done with Jax. Uh oh. You say Jax wasn't with Zeph? That gives me hope. He must still be out there. I'm surprised Zeph agreed to work with you, but you know the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Alina, I don't like the sound of what you told me. If this Aklov, the one who controls Hooper, is working with Faye, then they pose an even larger threat than I suspected. Honestly, we should probably not be worried that we're all carrying around these cubes which are, you know, controlled by a shadowy organization. What if they just hack every single cube? What if they take every single Pokemon in the world? Then there's nothing we can do. And if the Light of Rune is another branch like the Shadows, then that means only one thing. A recruitment drive. To find more people to turn into those abominations. How Hooper fits into things, however, I have no idea. If they've taken Jax, no. I'll try to stay optimistic. Jax is a resourceful boy. But lately, he seems to be contacting me less and less. And with less pep every time. Alina, head over to Vivil Town. 
Stop the light of ruin and try to find Jax. Whether he's there of his own free will or not, I suspect he will be with them. Okay, that's it. I've had it. I kept my gap shut all this time, but I'm not just going to be ignored anymore. Listen, old man, I have no idea who you are or what's happening, but if whatever is going on has to do with the shadows, then I want in. Oh, my apologies. I didn't mean to be rude. Uh, who might you be? <laughs> I'm mad as all else. I don't care about this light of rune or whatever. I came this close to finding the shadows and finding my parents, and they got away from me again. So if I hear they're heading to Viviltown, then that's where I'm going. Please, I urge you to wait. As of now, the shadows are, are pawns to fix a greater problem. At least hold off on your act of vengeance until the ordeal is over, understood? They're your pawns, old man. They're my only to my parents. I'm not stupid, I know what's at stake. But the second this is all over, I won't hesitate to shake him down for what I want to know. Elena, since this is officially your mission, I'll be waiting for you in Viviltown. And for your sake, I'll even play nice with the shadows until we're done. Don't be late, Alina. Don't know why I was wearing my glasses. I don't need them for this distance. That boy, he's got quite the mouth to him. Well, I wish you luck in Viviltown, Alina. Let me know how it went as soon as you've returned. All right, nice cape. Uh, are you a nurse? Hi there, trainer. If you can beat me, I'll heal your Pokemon for free. Why here? You're literally like <laughs> three steps from a Pokemon Center. Oh well, Togepi. All right, let's give you a little, a little surf. Surf's up, dude. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, did that double edge hurt you more than it hurt me? Because I feel like it did. Right, who we, who's next? Sure. Chansey. Yes, we'll swap. We will use Mushu. I should have called Mushu Mushi, shouldn't I? Because the female. Oh, well. Ah, oh, well. Wait, are you just normal? I thought you were fairy. All right. Let's try and get the poison on there. Why are we not getting hit by the sandstorm, by the way? Listen, they're only doing this because you're going to heal me anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Wait, what's my ability? I thought it was corrosive. Huge XP, by the way. And Togetic. No, we'll stay in. I'm pretty certain this is a fairy. Yes. Right, goodbye. Never mind. You lived. Okay, so you just have double edge on all your Pokemon. You found one TM and you went, yes. Anyway, Mushu at 43. Healing time. All right, thank you. All right, be careful of sandstorms. I will. Uh, Mushu, what's your ability? It is corrosion. Does sandstorm not affect fire type? Oh, safety goggles! I forgot I gave you that. So I was say the sandstorm definitely does hit fire types. Eh. Uh, Okay, that's downhill I see now. I thought I was in quicksand. I thought we were dead. Ooh, Vibrava. You weird, ugly looking thing. Uh, get Aurora Beans. Is this gonna be a one shot? It is, all right.
What? Oh, he's just bones, I think. I hope. Oh, a little dwebble. Hello. I, I can't help but think that all I can do is kill you right now. Maybe the Aurora Beam you live through? Okay. We can double Aurora Beam. This would be a fun little bug type to have. I've already got enough problems with my squad size, but... Okay, thank you for only hitting two times. And let's catch it. Hmm. Let's give it a great ball. This Pokemon can easily melt holes in hard rocks with a liquid secreted from its mouth. Okay. Yep, Dwebble, you're now going to be called Dribble instead. There you go. No hidden item. Oh, Dex have unusual Pokemon. Come on, we can do it. There we go. Ah, silly cobra. You're a very silly cobra. Okay, I, I don't really want to just one-shot you, but we can do some ref snoring, I think. Nice, thank you. Great counter to the glare. Alright, oh, and a flinch. Humongous, okay. You know what? I would like you in a, a way. Ground typing is a little bit awkward for me because I do have some decent coverage for it. But you do kind of look okay. You're amusing at least. It spews sand from its nostrils. While the enemy is blinded, it burrows into the ground to hide. Uh, yes. Let's just name all Pokemon after the Pokedex entries now. You're called Snort. You're a Sand Snorter. Ah, so we can't go that way. Okay, Sammy, time to break the sleep, please. Sammy, buddy, you need to wake up. Thank you. Oh, yeah, sturdy. Okay, fair enough. I was going to say, I'm shocked you lived through that. Uh, we'll give you an Aurora Bean to finish you. God, Bumble just scours the desert and finds honey. He is a miracle of a Pokemon, right? Let, let's just get a free heal if you don't mind. Maybe this is the place where we could do some leveling up, because Vibrava as well in there. Decent experience. Ah, just a normal Sand Slash. Alright. I don't I should have tried to catch you. We don't have the original one. Ah well. Ah well, who cares? Okay. Sammy's evolved. He is now a wall rain. And he wants to learn Ice Fang. Uh, yeah. You can forget Aurora Beam.
Perfect. Okay, you're not a trainer, apparently. Ooh, Darumuka, again. Have a lot of fire types right now. Well, I used you in Gen 5, I think it was, when you came out. And you were... Okay. I seem to remember you being a very, like, glass cannon. Like, you did insane damage. But you would just get one shot by, like, everything. Great flinch. Uh, pity on the old burn there, but... <laughs> I'm yards away from the healer again. Oh. He said no. Alright. In the interest of <clears throat> Sammy getting the experience, let's pop an Ultra Ball instead. There we go. Yes, I'll take your roast berry. When it sleeps, it pulls its limbs into its body, and its internal fire goes down to 1,100 degrees F. Uh, yeah, you can be called... Spicy. As you're very hot. Oh, you're a trainer! How tough are you? We shall expose that secret. Right, ball toy. Unlucky for you. I'm leading with Sammy. The crew may have mattered there, honestly. I suspect it didn't, but... Alright, Sammy needs to... Leave. Sigliff. Uh, ghost ground, right? Then Mr. Quinn can deal with it. I nearly forgot about you, Mr. Quinn, honestly. Sigliff. Uh, wave crash? Yeah, let's give you a wave crash. I'm going to go to the healer anyway. So the recoil doesn't bother me that much. Yep, yeah, I'm steel type. That doesn't hurt me that much. Sweet. Well, it's 44. I would be gravy. Your secret has been revealed. Bumble? How? Oop. That's all I want to know. How are you finding honey in the desert? Are there any desert bees in here? Oh god, I, I don't think I'd want the honey from a desert bee. I imagine that's really grainy and gritty. Uh, Alright, let's bring you guys to the front. I was going to say you're nearly at the cap, but the cap's obviously been raised again now, so I don't know what the cap is anymore. Uh, I'm not allowed. Oh! Am I not allowed onto my bike? No, I'm just not allowed in it. What? Oh. Okay, this area is slightly confusing. It's very hard to see the inclines and declines. Alright, let's give you a little... A, a little brick break, why not? Let's try and catch you. Okay, that was a crit. You probably will need an Ultra Ball. So, let's pop another one of the Ultra Balls. Is this Ground Dragon, this thing? I can never remember. I know it's Ground something. And I'm pretty certain it becomes a dragon. The ultrasonic waves, it generates by rubbing its two wings together, cause severe headaches. Uh, okay. Causes severe headaches. It, it can only be one thing. <laughs> uh, oh, God. 
Oopsie daisy. <laughs> I accidentally pushed the button. But honestly, I deserved it for making the joke. Uh, no, you're not going to be called my wife. You're going to be called... Hmm. Am I just going to call you Vibrator? No, I know what I call you. You're called Woman Toy now. There we go. Woman Toy. Perfect. Hmm. Uh, it increases Sandstorm. Not necessary for me right now, but I'll take it. Alright, Sand Slash, I will also try and catch you this time. You might die to a bubble beam. Let's try Brick Break again. Uh oh. Hmm. That hurts. Okay, let's try a bubble beam. Oh, you avoided it. Ah, screw it. If Mr. Quinn dies, Mr. Quinn dies. I'll give you a steel wing. How how's that sound? God damn it! He, he must. Oh, he has. God damn you! He must have something to do with evasion in the sandstorm. That's my guess right now. <laughs> I intimidated him down in his hole. I still have to literally just put his beak in the hole and was like, "Oi, you!" And he's like, "Ah!" Okay, little cutie knows how to hit Pokemon. Right, you're not getting an Ultra Ball. You don't deserve it. You can have a Great Ball. Nothing better, nothing worse. Okay. Deal. Deal. It is adept at attacking with spines on its back and its sharp claws while quickly scurrying about. Yes, you can be called... I want to call you Scurry Spike. You, you can just be called Scurry. Sure. Man, this area is huge. I didn't need to use Wave Clap Crash there, I think. Oh well. Oh well, we take a little bit of damage. Quite a lot of damage, honestly. We'll put Mr. Quinn in reserve again. Sorry, I didn't handle you very well there, buddy. Uh, let's put a little cutie at the front. Huh. Can I can I fish? Is that what you want me to do? What a weird thing to be here. The desert life here is thriving. Alright, Logan used trappage. Okay, ground versus flying. I can live with this. It probably knows rock moves though, so. We have to be a little bit cautious. I'll give you a dual wing beat. Wonderful. Do we think it's, uh, was it Alola or Gala? I don't remember where the snowy one's from. It's Gala, right? Is it? I'm gonna stay in. Ah, okay, they, they weren't trying to trick me. It's still not a bad type matchup for me. It's neutral. I 
And then we'll just finish off with a little quick attack. You're thriving as well. Thank you, I think. Ooh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh, oh. Oh. Found the yellow shard. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Okay. Could be useful. Right, where's my healer? Oh, nurse! Ah, Cacnea. I tell you what, we haven't got that many grass types. This would become grass dark, right? Or is it even grass dark now? It wouldn't be the worst thing to have. Okay, it's not dark yet because close combat one-shots it. But it wasn't super effective. Although that would mean I have two grass darks, right? Which is a little bit garbage. All right. Did I go down here? Or was it the other path? No, I didn't go down here. Let's explore this top area first before I move on. The boys now are gonna have a concert soon. It's gonna be rocking. You're gonna use a rock type first. I've seen this pun before. Sure. Uh, I don't think I can one-shot this thing, so I think we're substituting out immediately. <laughs> and we're not really great at dealing with electric types. Bumble is Bug Fairy, so he wouldn't be terrible, nor would Mushu. I I'll go with Bumble. We've not used Bumble for a while. Uh, let's give you a little dazzle. Okay, didn't expect it to have power gem. Live? Okay, we're gonna... Die, I think. But we'll get the kill at least. Oh, Dragon Pulse. Uh, yeah, sure. Is it a Dragon Rage? No! <laughs> oh, you lived on one! Yeah, I'll swap. Nice, I planned that. Uh, go, Moki, it's your time to shine. Please, no self destruct. Let's give you a Zen headbutt. Oh, he's faster than me. I'm actually shocked that you are faster than me. Please kill. Oh, my God. You know what? I should have worked up there. Because I knew it was faster than me, so it was always going to hit me. And he would have died to the sandstorm anyway. Okay, please use something that I'm faster than. I don't know if I'm faster than this. But let's try. We are. We should be safe then. Holy moly. He just needed the warm-up, Moki. That's all he needed to do. Uh, no. What a weird party. Voltorb, Electrode, Luxio, and what was the first one we killed? Oh, Flaffy. It's really the Voltorb, Electrode. It kind of suggested you were going to try and self-destruct me twice. I can't gem out in a sandstorm. It does sound like probably one of the worst places you could do like some sort of concert. Okay, are you part of a gang again? Also, can I please go down that? Thank you. Hmm, I wound up in this pit somehow. <laughs> I noticed. Roughneck Cameron, are you part of the, the Gyarados gang? Okay, Crocorock. 
Pretty cool looking sprite, not gonna lie. Okay, little cutie, I think we can stay in here. Especially since this probably one shots you. Alright, who next? Barbarical. It's rock water, right? I think it's rock water. Okay. Well, Drain Punch works, so I'm pretty certain it is rock. Hmm. You beat me. Do you want directions on how to get out of the deck? You just go this way. Okay. Wearing these go goggles makes me feel like a superhero. Right now, nobody can beat me. He doesn't know. Sandaconda. Ooh. Nice. Okay, I think you're just pure ground, aren't you? I'll, I'll stay in. Nice. That's another level one little cutie. Okay, what next? A Vibrava. Yeah, we'll swap. I was hoping for a Rattata, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we'll get Mr. Quinn out. Actually, I shouldn't have got Mr. Quinn out. I should have got Wall Rain. I need a nice attack. Whatever, we can deal with this. Uh, oh, I'll do some wave crashing. Man, that is a lot of damage on the recoil. Surprising. Oh, we still got the kill. I can't win on Spirit alone. How, how much honey? Where are we at now? Nearly. We're nearly at that magical number. Oh, it's not on the rock. There we go. Some iron. Some iron sand. We are in, was it Gara's father territory? Was it iron sand? Not gonna lie, I didn't really watch much well, I guess I didn't watch much Naruto. I watched all the way to the end of Shippuden. But I didn't watch much Baruto. I did not enjoy that. I vaguely remember his father had Iron Sand, but I think that was the end of Shippuden, right? I, I don't remember. Honestly, by the end of Naruto, I got to the point where I was like, can you just finish this, please? I I've had enough. The war honestly went on for far too long. War, what is it good for? Clearly not viewing numbers. <laughs> oh, come on. Actually, you know what? Sure. As long as you don't wake up and you put a status effect on yourself, I can live with that. Alright, caught Hippie done. more. Surprisingly quick to anger, it holds its mouth agape as a display of strength. Well, how can he not? Possibly low-hanging fruit, but I don't care. You know what they say, the fruit at the bottom of the tree is always the sweetest. Actually, I don't think they say that. I wonder if there is a difference between taste of fruit, depending on whether it's at the top of the tree, or like lower down on the tree. There must be, right? 
Or is there? I might just... The local environment must make a difference. But I'm just trying to think if more exposure to the sun would change things and what would it actually do to it? I don't know. Not a plant biologist. I suspect it must do something though. It probably also matters which direction it's facing in as well, like east to west and so on and so forth for when the sun rises and sets. Never considered it before. Because you do get, you know, batches of apples from the the same variety that can taste quite drastically different. I wonder if it's for reasons like that. I always just assume that, you know, they were from different trees. That, that probably is the biggest part of the case. But I, I heard there are fossils to be found in the desert. Where could they be? I, I don't know. I'm too busy talking about fruits. Because I'm pretty certain they say for wine tasting that people can obviously taste differences between regions where the soil is different. But I thought they could also taste where things were grown like on the side of like the vineyard, which part of the vineyard it was in, because certain things would have different nutrients in the ground and so on and so forth. I don't know. Maybe that is... I didn't even see what you're using. Uh, I won't change. Maybe it's too close. Maybe the environment is too similar to have any noticeable difference. Probably if you went down to, you know, molecular analysis, there might be some vague, small differences in the levels of certain carbohydrates and other metabolites. But... Oh! I've got Eevee Light on this. I need to take it off. But yeah, probably not something... Well, I couldn't taste it at least. My tongue just ruined. Ruined by a beer and Brewing. Oh, he came up short. He, he wants it. He's hungry for it, Bumble. Uh, okay, what am I doing? So, you... We don't need, want the Eevee light on you anymore. Instead, you can have... Hmm... I don't think that is what we want. We definitely don't want that. I might just give you a wide lens for now. I'll worry about it when we get to a more important battle than, you know, whatever it was called, Kevin the Fossil Finder. Do also have a little prediction of where the cap is going to be? I think the cap might be at 50. So we have some way to go still. Found a rare bone. Oh, where's that rare bone collector? Was that in the previous place? I don't remember. Training tips. Certain Pokemon may only visit an area on certain days of a week. Be sure to search Boris every day for Pokemon like these. Ah, interesting. Oh, Crocorock. Well, I'll try and catch you. Again, potentially kind of an interesting one to take, but unfortunately my ground typing is... Pretty well covered right now. What? I was gonna say I wouldn't mind another dark type, but I guess we've got dark covered as well. In fact, I think it is pretty well covered. I need to write down what typings I do have covered right now, which ones I don't. And look at it. I know ghost is the big one. We probably grab ghost with anything at this point. As long, you know, as long as it's decent. Uh, we have one steel... No, we have two steel. I think we only have one fairy. A ghost fairy, I don't know if it exists, would be phenomenal. I think I've only got one psychic type as well. But it is a fantastic psychic type. As in, it's Moki. 
Is that right? And then we have three water. Two, no, three fire as well. Because we cut a fire because we had four. We have at least three fighting, possibly more. Uh, it buries some of its prey in the sand to so use as emergency meals when its hunts are unsuccessful. Yes. Uh, you are called... Grey... Grave... Uh, Digar. Perfect. Alright, see you down here. Sneaky boy. Come on. Please! I want to do battle with you! I smashed rocks with my fist and found these Pokemon. I wonder if it's the fossils. It can't be right. It must be like Geodudes and stuff. A binacle. Okay, maybe we should smash some rocks here. Cock, I forgot I was asleep still. Oh well, Sammy, you may perish here, and it is completely my fault. No, Sammy wakes up this turn. You, you just have to have a psychic link with your Sammy. Alright, let me just do a little rest. And we'll just do a little snore. Perfect. Ish. Dwebble. Uh, yeah, we'll swap. Let's use Mr. Quinn, who is awake. And I'll give you a little bubbly bean. Sturdy. Should not be effective. And we're good. It's actually a really good area to level up, Mr. Quinn. Being steel type, I don't get affected by the sandstorm. Water really good against all the ground types there. Please. Thank you. I don't think I'd want someone's candy as well that I found just in the desert. I'll take all your rare bones, though. Alright, Sammy. You're not going to wake up in turn one. That That's never going to happen. I think you're a turn two waker-upper, though. That's just how good a trainer I am. Okay, give me this. Uh, okay, I would drink fresh water if I found it in the desert. You've got me there. What is your deal? Ah, let's also try and catch this cat meat this time. Surf should not kill you. It's more than I thought. And you use pin missile. Why? Why would you use pin missile? Surely you have some sort of grass attack. What does it have? Like, ha is it called hammer arm or something? The grass physical move? I thought it had that. Whatever. Caught you now. It prefers harsh environments such as deserts. It can survive for 30 days and water stored in its body. Uh, yes. You are... You are David Blaine. Just living for 30 days in a desert with just the water he entered in on. You're a magician. And remember the powerful warrior cult simply known as the Undying Lucario. Is this a gang again? In the olden days, we would fight for riches, but for sport. Oh, not for riches, sorry. However, modern society has deemed human battles to be inhumane, so we now battle with our Pokemon. Do you think you have what it takes to become one of us? Probably. In order to complete your initiation, you must enjoy the thrill of battle, at least 
2,000 times. Okay. <laughs> Nearly halfway there. Warmonger, nice. Okay, where are we going here? Great Desert. So Gurren Town is that way. All right, let me head back the way I was coming from. First, because I missed a train, and secondly, I wonder what's in that southern area. And since I need the experience, I'm not going to pop a repel. All right, where's that weird-looking person gone? Oh, there you are. You literally blow me. And also, I need to smash rocks. That's right. In before they're all Geo dudes, by the way. Oh! I mean, I'll take it. I had one, but we can sell it. I sense your approach. Yeah, of course he did. Well, gave you the clue the fact that I cycled around you three times. And they used a clay doll. Uh, let me give you a little ice fang. And see how you like that. Oh my god, they got frostbite. Uh, they used hyper beam. Okay, it did no damage. I think you're dead. So I'm going to rest. I think you'll die to the frostbite. Yes. Soul Rock. No, we'll stay in. Sammy wakes up this turn anyway. Come on, Sammy. Okay, Sammy, you have to wake up. Sammy, you have to wake up. Sammy! All right, goodbye, Sammy. Good try, buddy. All right, Mr. Quinn. It's up to you now. In theory, a great matchup for you. Better matchup if you had more health. Never mind, it's good enough. Uh, you're not going to learn, miss. Lunatone. Nope, this is also a pretty good matchup. I still hate that both of these were rock psychic, right? This one should have been rock dark or something. You know, mix it up a little bit. Uh, you know what? We might die doing this, but we're going to die otherwise. Mr. Quinn likes to go out fighting. Okay, he lived. Give up. Who are you telling to give up? Me or you? Because you're right, you should give up. Maractus. Oh. I forgot you even existed, honestly. I was like, you're not the evolution of Cagmia. No, you're a completely different Pokemon. Now, let me give you a little Dragon Pulse. Let me give you another Dragon Pulse. Don't crit this time. Don't crit. Oh, he's going to die to the sandstorm! Why don't you heal, you nerd? Oh, well. Sure, we'll find another one. Oh, we're getting close. Three more. Okay, let's go back to Healer Woman. My nurse. My beloved. We'll get it and we'll go quick healing. And we'll go back out into the desert again with this squad. You know what? Enjoy being in your hole. <laughs> I don't want any part of this. Okay, so we went down here. 
So I think there's like three different places to the south. Because there's one that's blocked off by rocks. There was a, then one that wasn't, and then there was that one I just was in. And then I think going east is the correct direction. There is really a great desert. It lives up to its name. It could be the thumbnail. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I can't remember which one of you I caught. I can't remember if I caught the male one or the female. I think I caught the male one before. I don't care. I don't want to catch both of you now. I'd like this series to end at some point. And I'm very aware that I'm just prolonging it right now. So I'd rather not prolong it further. Power trick. I don't know what you even do. Ah, that's right. Swap his attack with defense. I don't think I want that. Moki doesn't need it. Moki hits hard enough as it is. Right, what's your deal? Hello? This desert is nice and hot. It's firing me up. Are you using fire types, I guess? Are there going to be fire ground? I'm expecting camera up. Okay, Darren Racker. Kind of underwhelming. But sure. I'm surprised we've not seen, or maybe it's a, a, a nighttime thing. Yanma, was it called? The ghost mask thing. Because I think they're found in deserts, right? Well, they were in their version of the game. Oh. I don't even know why I'm really doing this. Because it's not going to make a difference in the future, right? No sturdy. Thank you. Because this thing will just reset again. I guess it gets me back to the healer faster. Sure. There you go. Geo dude, of course. I'm only doing this because I think there might be the barnacle boy in there. Ambitious, setting up South Rock. I respect the Moxie though, thinking that on one HP you're gonna knock out any of my Pokemon. Okay, if you're a Geodude again, we're not smashing any more rocks. You're not even worth killing. You have level 30. I'm 17 levels higher than you. I'll get like one experience. Oh, I will do that, though. I won't smash rocks for love, but I'll smash for cells. I'll smash for cells. That sounds kind of like something else. I, I mean the, the Zygarde cells, no other type of cells. That's actually probably the like, nerdiest, creepiest thing you could say. It's like, oh, I want to smash to inseminate your cells. Oh. oh. You're not worth killing. It's a bit like trying to use the, the pickup line. Oh, what enzyme would you like to be? Because I'd like to be DNA heal case because I want to unzip your genes. Hey. Immediately... You know, they, they've left. They've gone to a different table. Like, you know, they're calling people up and they're like, oh, sorry, you need me to come? Uh, what do you want? Honestly, the touch of another woman. No. Uh, <laughs> Camper Drew sent out Hippopotas. Okay, that's kind of adorable. It kind of reminds me of me. It kind of looks like it's scratching his bum, but I don't know if it is. It kind of looks like it's got a hand going back there, you know. This is me at the end of the week, honestly. Uh, let's use an Ice Fang. Let's mix it up a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, here's a year mask. No, we'll keep Bin. This is the semi-redemption arc right now. Sammy has, honestly, since like the first episode or two has really struggled. But we finally found an area where he can just dominate. And he's dominating. I really like this frostbite effect, by the way. I love that they changed Frozen to frostbite. I hope that's in Gen 9 as well. It's one of the few things... Sorry, not few. That that makes it seem that I think Arceus was a bad game. It wasn't. It was great. But the battle system, I think, in Arceus was pretty poor. But the one thing they improved on the battle thing was removing Frozen and putting Frostbite. I think that was a really good change. Really, really good change. I liked it. I hope there aren't styles in the game, though. I did not enjoy the styles. And I want abilities in my game as well. But I think it's been confirmed that abilities are coming back, so... Alright, good battle. Nice try, Drew. Uh, I lost because I'm still half asleep. No, you lost because all your Pokemon are not evolved. Leave me alone. The desert sand is so warm. Zzz. One more. What the hell is this? The Tomb of Boreas. Hello. Through this gateway lies the great King Boreas III. He is the king who released and bound the Dark Force in days past. No one has yet succeeded in mapping out the tomb, but legends say that there is an immense wealth waiting for anyone able to reach the burial chamber. Alright, let me just have a quick look. No one else here. Nope. Alright, let's 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 solve this thing then. Come on, Fred. You can do it. Wait, wait. What are you doing? That piece doesn't go there. Oh, God. The story of the past through to the burial chamber. I can feel it in my bones. Please, not more sliding puzzles. Anything but sliding puzzles. Oh, Relic Copper. Sure. I don't even remember what game you were from. Uh, I can't talk to the guy there. Okay. Fortunately for me right now, I don't seem to be able to interact with this. Worryingly for my future, I think I need to interact with that. Uh, maybe we should give someone else some love at the front as well. I've kind of also been just leaving Sammy because I want to see what the cap actually is. Well, it should be a little bit higher. It could be just foot. Ladies and gentlemen. Let me just print screen that. Uh, we'll just put it on the Overwatch thumbnail for now. There we go, perfect. Uh, mission complete. It may not be a mission set by anyone in the game, but god damn it, it was a mission I've been trying to do. Right, no more Bumble. You have enough. I'm a little bit surprised how low level the Pokemon are in this area as well. I thought they were going to be like 45s. They're all just like below 40-ish. But I guess I appreciate it because my Pokemon were a bit underleveled. Alright, let's see what's down here now. We caught you. You're honestly probably not worth killing anymore, but... It takes one little bite and you're gone. Oh, hello. I'm out here bird watching for Rufflet. Have you seen any today? No, if I had, I'd have caught one. I'm keeping an eye out for Vullaby if you've seen one. No, I've not seen either of these. But I would like both. Okay, they have the opposite birds. Why not make a trade, guys? Okay. Let me give you Who's the biggest problem here? 
Neither, really. I'll give you the Ice Fang. And I'll give you a Fire Lash. Alright, goodbye. Holy shit, he lived. I'm shocked. Oh, you knocked off my safety goggles? I'm blinded by the sandstorm now. Or buffed it, even. Oh. But damn you. I can't surf right now, either, because that will ruin me. I guess we just do one of these. So is it 48? Okay. Oh, did you? An Arkan, okay. That's kind of cool. He's going to get Giga Murder because I'm pretty certain you're flying rock, right? And Mushu, you know what? I'm not going to risk you. Let's swap you out. For... Mr. Quinn. This lets me do a surf as well if I really want to, because it won't do much damage to Mr. Quinn. Right, goodbye. Okay. I thought that might have killed me then. Alright, Mr. Quinn, you can deal with this, right? Now I can just have a nice little rest. Oh, he can. So Sammy is still getting experience, so the cap isn't 48. I expected as much. Ruffler is superior to Vullaby. My friend thinks Ruffler is better than Vullaby. He's wrong. Oh, Bumble, come on. Uh, let me grab an awakening. Honestly, I should probably just put a berry on Sammy that lets him wake up. I think that'd be the best thing I could do. But really, we should only do that for gym battles, I think, because I think you get them back on the gym battle, right? Just not on general, you know, stupid battles like this. Uh, let me just find you. Okay, let's take Sammy off the first slot now. He's running out of PPs. He, he's just mad. He's honey crazy, Bumble. You know what, Bumble? You can go to the front. I don't think you've led for some time at least. Ah, settles. I really need to remember where Selman is as well. Please. Right, I, can, I can build a yellow brick road out with all the shards I've got now. Oh, I'm cacking here. Nice, it's the one thing that Bumble probably can kill in this area. At least comfortably. I, I do think, as much as Bumble has been phenomenal for us, I do wonder at some point if Bumble has to go out of the party. Just because I don't know if he's strong enough. Oh, 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 you found the cloud of the sand! But the shackles that bind me still linger! As long as there are breakable rocks to the west of it, this canyon, and to the north of the southern canyon, I'm not truly free. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking insane? I have to break all the rocks. Alright, let me go back and break all the rocks then. Why not? Let me dazzle you as well. Forgot. Fairy into dark. Very good. Right, also, I'm only missing you now. Uh, 
Okay, I saw where he was. He was up. Well, Bumble enjoyed the levels, buddy. Also, enjoy all that honey you're hoarding. If I'm gonna do this, it's probably repel, but I just can't be bothered. Also, did I just walk past a smashable rock? Were you smash up? No, you were a, you weren't even a rock. You were a cactus. I'm just fucking going insane. Slowly going insane. Okay, let, let's go on the bike and just run back. I don't know what I'm messing about here for. Uh, let's see what we can do here. This could be a bad matchup for... Well, I mean, it is a bad matchup for Bumble. Okay, never mind. You did stealth rock. I forgot I gave you the old switcheroo as well. Hey, that switcheroo's going to come good eventually. Uh, what am I doing? Let's go and find all the smashable rocks. Please. Uh oh. Never mind. Didn't hurt me. Okay. All right. Okay. Fair. 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 And see you later. I can't escape. I can I can I just get out? Can I swap? I forgot sand tomb. All right. Let's do infestation then because I'm gonna die. Goodbye. Never mind, just need to attack you. Turns out pushing the attack button is pretty effective. Okay, give me the repels. Let's let's just repel and gun grab them all, otherwise this is actually gonna be heinous to watch. Uh where the Do I not have repels? Uh oh. Did I go past one? Oh, I did. There they are. Okay, could you with buying some more of these, honestly? Okay, there's smashable rocks. Also, while I'm down here, please, 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 I, I just want to go this way. It's okay, I'll just go around. Can you hear me? Thank you. Let's lead with Mr. Quinn. All right, lots of rocks in here. Thank you. Wait, did I break some of these rocks? I only respawned. Hey, heart scale! I didn't know I could get those from rocks. Uh, they have respawned. How the fuck am I meant to do this? Yeah. Or did he not mean this area, maybe? I mean, this is all junk I can sell. Did it just mean up here? In this area? Clown, what do you want from me? 
I guess it's not even a quest. Maybe he's just trolling me. Have you ever considered that? I mean, I've <laughs> I'm getting all the heart scales right now, so pretty content. Oh, a root fossil! Oh shit, you can actually find fossils in here. Okay, I think it back. We should be smashing these rocks. I smashed these before. Okay, they are resetting. The guy's a troll. Or he doesn't mean this area. Uh, right. Smash this rock. Okay, we apparently broke all the shackles. Never mind. Whirly twirly sandy dandy. Alright, see you later. I guess he was just keeping track of which ones I'd broken, which ones I hadn't broken. Uh, we fought you already. Let me have a little explore while I still got the repeller. Rock incense, nice. What do you make of these rocks? Are they fossils? No. Alright. Crustle? Sayonara, buddy. Okay, I'm kind of surprised you didn't even leave proc sturdy. But it doesn't matter, you're going to do negative damage to me. Unlucky. Mr. Quinn, you're so good. No, we'll stay in. Is that going to kill itself? No. Alright, thank you for the XP. I appreciate it. They have to be important. Mm, not really. Okay, there's Max repelling the skeleton. Uh, we'll, we'll stop doing it now. We'll go and get some more XP. Okay. okay, you have not fought yet. Are you a fossil maniac guy? Or just a maniac. Kind of hard to tell. Cacnea. Let's see how much a steel wing does to you. A lot. Bumble hits 48. Wants one bug buzz. Probably yes. 90, probably better than Pollen Puff, right? It's the same. If target is an ally, it heals it instead. I forgot that was even a thing with Pollen Puff. Ha! Huh. I might keep Pollen Puff. Yeah, I'm keeping Pollen Puff. I know, like, it's a stat lowering, so in theory it's better, but... I like the idea that, you know, I could heal with it. Uh, the floor in this desert is so interesting. Or fascinating, sorry. Uh, Collector Dawson. The fauna in this area... Did you say flora? Sorry, whatever. The flora in this area are interesting. He uses Klefki. 
Are you okay, buddy? Right, snap. I'm using a steel move against you. Yeah, sure. Just keep flash cannoning me. Eventually it'll work. Oh no, my spadiff. Whatever will I do without my spadiff? Ah, uh, you're dead. Right. Maractus. Okay, I'll give you one. This is Flora. We will take out Mushu. Show it to your finest fire lashes. Hmm, I thought that would have done more damage. Uh, that should honestly have done negative damage. That should have just hurt you, honestly. Being fire poison using grass against me. At least should have just instantly wilted and melted. And Sligoo. Yes. Bumble. So you had one floral Pokemon. I guess it is of this region. You know what? His story... His story makes sense. It checks out. Very lucky for you. I just break through one time, Bumble. Nice. We're out. Who cares about winning when we can gush over my flora? Don't ever tell me those words ever again. Right. We've been here... Hang on a minute. There's a secret goodie here. A car boss. And we're about to go to a different area, apparently. Gurren Town. Baron... What? Baron Clough, was it called? Okay, there's literally an invisible wall. Where am I going, by the way? It wasn't Gurren Town, right? Have I gone the wrong way? <laughs> Was there another way? Uh, let me grab my town map for a moment. Oh, it's north of here. Okay. Let's do a little party swap. Right, all you dudes who were a little bit low. Also, I can check my other Pokemon now. You were the first one I caught, right? Dribble. I tell you what. <laughs> Dribble's not bad. And I don't have many bug types. I mean, it's Bumble, really. Essence special attack is irrelevant. Don't get blinded by this. Uh, you're not good. You're not good. You're okay, but not great. You're pretty bad. You're an abomination. You're close to being an abomination. You kind of suck. You're really good on the old attack. But if you get hit by anything which is special attack, you just fall over. I think nothing here was good enough. There's some stuff I would have considered had I not, you know, already got tons of those types. I think grass is one of the other types where I think we should be keeping an eye out for one. But we don't really need the grass dark. Okay. Who's my lowest level now? Ugg dog, get in. Not a great area for you, though. I'm just going to call it as I see it. 
Quacker, honestly, I think you're approaching a point where you're going to be... In fact, I'm going to call it now. I think Quacker goes out the party now. I think we relegate him because we have three waters. I have three flying. And I just don't need him. I think his stats were kind of crap, though. He's, he is kind of crap, though. I'll keep you in for the time being, but you are on the chopping block. Okay, everyone down here is 45, so Dogstorm needs to come back. And then it's just whoever we want. Again, the top could have been a consideration to go, but I'll, I'll keep him for now. Let's get Jawbreaker back in. Uh, let's get Scar in as well. And then finally, let's put Truffle in. Realistically, what I should do, and I might do this at some point, is basically split them into three squads now. Three crack teams of Pokemon. And then we can see how we need to you know, balance things out and where we have issues. And then we can just swap six in, six out until we get to a gym or something. If you sail east of Gurrentown, you'll approach the entrance to Victory Road. This is a challenging path for experienced trainers that leads up to the Pokemon League. It is there you may challenge the Elite Four and fill the vacant seat of the champion. Shh, do you hear them? The trapped spirits? Of course you don't. All right, I'm sorry. Sorry for not being psychic. It's my job to light up all the torches at night. The desert can get pretty cold once the sun goes down. The torches then provide a reliable source of heat. I imagine as well as light, right? I've dedicated my life to studying the secrets of the legendary Titan Pokemon. Recently I discovered that these Pokemon must live in the strange rock formations that can be found around Boreas. If only I had discovered how to unseal them too. Okay. Gurren Town, a town that survived the sands of time. It's a statue of legendary Titan Pokemon. It says here that in ancient times the Titans helped Regigigas bring together the Boreas region. Their current dwelling place is unknown. Oh, I like these weird little houses. Oh, you have a polygon. Hello, I have I have been stationed here by the Science Society to study fossils. If you have one, I can take a stab at reviving it for you. Oh, yeah. Cock, where is it? <laughs> the root fossil. It will take some time to revive, come back later. Right, will do. So this is where we can revive the dead Pokemons. Hey you! I got a favor to ask for you. I'm an enthusiast, a lover of hard things, if I do say so myself. I don't like where this is going. But unlike my friend over there, I'm not interested in buying anything off you. I just want you to collect 20 hard stones for me. You think you can do it? Probably. Yeehaw! Hard stones might pop up when you smash rocks in the great desert. Heck, I bet if you dug into the walls of the KBT Expressway, you'd find them there too. How many do I have? I've got a few at least. Uh, there's something that this enthusiast wants to get his hands on, even if it means spending a lot of money. You have a rare item, do you? Yes, I do. Uh, how about this relic copper? Will I sell it for a thousand? No. I don't know why I'm keeping it, but I think we can get more somehow. Oh, you just, you maybe he does just want the Relic Copper. Oh, by the way, cells. It's pretty odd that there's a forest filled with so many Bug-type Pokemon this close to a desert. Well, that's Boreas for you. Okay, so there's a Bug-type forest nearby. Cool. Please, I'm begging you. Tell me you fished for at least three times. Yes. Oh, yeah! A train that actually bothers the fish showed up to my house. This is just the inspiration I need to make a fresh start with my life. 
It's time to go parking these Boreas, baby. See you later, trainer. Oh. Oh, he left something behind? Is it a super rod? It's a pearl. Alina, don't touch it with your bare hands. We don't know where that's been. That may have come from his prison pocket. The houses here are based off a design found in the Nova region. They're from some town that boasts of pottery made up from Volcanic City. Speaking of, there's a maniac somewhere around here who will buy some kind of relic pottery for a high price. Okay. I think I've come across him. Uh, could do some fishing, but I'm not super interested right now. The desert doesn't continue on for much longer once you head south of town. Be careful if you decide to travel in that direction, though. You'll end up in Antithesis City if you travel too far. And the Lord knows you don't want to go anywhere near that place. Alright. I've only heard wonderful things, honestly, of that town. We used to hold a festival every year to commemorate when the Titan Pokemon finished building our little town. But interest in it has sort of faded away in recent years. People are just too addicted to their TVs and devices, I suppose. Cough, cough. While you were out there wandering through the desert, you happened to stumble upon the entrance to the tomb of Boreas. I did. Around here, it's known that the ancient people of Boreas hid a lot of treasure in the tomb. Ah. We can become Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. Okay, is that all there is in here? I should probably buy some shit as well, now that I think about it. Okay, we can buy Ultra Balls. Give me a few of these, please. Thank you for the three Premier Balls. I'll buy a couple of Hyper Potions. And give me some Max Repels. Perfect. Shops will give you a discount on your birthday, but like all good things, there's a catch. Sure, the items you can buy are cheaper, but you'll also get less for selling any back. Oh, okay. Oh dear, you're looking faint. Have you not been drinking enough liquid? Hey, please have some of mine. Don't ever say that as well. Alright, thanks for your lemonade. Oh good, you're looking much better now. Do try to be more careful while travelling in this heat. I guess I am wearing like a, you know, a fur jacket from the frozen heights in the middle of a desert. Uh, okay, we spoke to you already. So this is the Bug Forest. Charty Berry. Oh, Vivil Woods. Oh. Huh. Thanks for your cells. Let me go and get a fire type in the front slot. <coughs> Come on, Scar. We're going to ruin someone's day. Phew! I've almost made it to Gurren Town. Scatterbug. Uh, goodbye, Scatterbug. Okay, and you, you got this level 41 and didn't evolve it. I can't decide if that makes you based or just dumb. There's a fine line between base and being dumb, and I think you've crossed it. You, you've definitely crossed it. You're actually a menace to society. There are some people you may, you know, call friends. They're equally as weird as you are. They're called the inverse battle guys. There are a few towns over, go hang around with them. It's a good thing I can heal soon. Level 33 Caterpie, sure. You're right, this is an odd place. Easy. Easy. Damn it. Oh, well, hello, little cottony. You're not bug, are you? You're just grass type. You're a grass fairy, aren't you? I'll let and burn you. You actually might be exactly what I need. If you are where I think you are. Uh, let's use... 
an Ultra Ball. Sorry, I mean the wrong sap. Because I do need Grass type, as I said, so Fairy wouldn't be the worst thing. I don't remember, is there a Fairy Ghost as well? Is that where T set Fairy Ghost, or is that just Ghost Ghost? When attacked, it escapes by shooting cotton from its body to serve as a decoy to distract the attacker. Uh, you could be called Dot. In honor of Coronation Street, right? You know what? We'll, we come back in next part, I think, and go through here. Ooh, a little petalil. Hang on a minute. That could take me to a grass fighting type, potentially. Hang on a minute. Uh, let me crunch you. Let me crunch you again. I forgot I'm making your defense lower. Right, you have a real good selection of attacks. I'm pretty certain that his student version of Petals in the game, or the evolved form, I can't remember what it's called when it evolves. Which I think was Grass Fighting, right? Like the Dancer one? Uh, the leaves on its head are very bitter. Eating one of these leaves is known to refresh a tired body. Yes, you are... You refresh a tired body. You are Viagra. You, you have a tired phallus? This refreshes it. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is... First, I'm going to check up these Pokemon. I think I'm then going to fly back to places where the dens were. And maybe have a look in some of the dens. And then I might end the part here. It's a little bit short, but honestly, I want to play some Overwatch too, so... Humor me. All right, let me give a summary on you. You are a fairy. <coughs> You're not good. You're really not good. Uh, you're also not really good. All right, let's go back. We'll do one den. I know where there is a very easy den to get to. And I think off camera, I might do some leveling just to get people a little bit higher. But I'll probably stop not actually at the cap. I might not even do that much. I might just take everyone up to like 46 or 47 or something. Uh, do I have a flying Pokemon in my party? Can you use the ability fly? Can you do it, please? Thank you. Uh, take me to Crater Town, please. I think this is the easiest one to get to. Please have a Pokemon with the ability cut. Na 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 All right. All right. Uh, not you definitely know how to do court. I'll put you in for jawbreaker. Okay, let's see what's in the, the den. Yeah, sure, I'll save the game. Oh, Lipard. Uh, I've caught your original form. I think. Actually, have I caught it? I'm pretty certain I did. I caught it nearly right. <laughs> Okay, I know somewhere else then where there is one. But if this is a wash as well, then... Tough is the answer. 
This one's slightly more awkward to get to, unfortunately. Uh, this way. Please. Come on. Uh, there it is. No, we're not saving it this time. I want to see what the Pokemon is. Okay, we haven't got this. We will use Scar, Quacker, and Truffle. <laughs> I didn't notice that you were using a Pyro, honestly. The kings of the jungle. I just noticed them, by the way. I can Dynamax, can't I? Now. Come on, get it back to me. Yeah. Is it this? Is that how you do it? All right, I did select, not start, I'm done. But I am getting the option to Dynamax, so I can Dynamax now with the Mega thing. Good to know. Uh, let's catch you in a very fancy ball. Let's use a Premier Ball. The best thing about these raids, you can just put them in whatever ball you want. Alright, we've got a Carablast now. For some reason they evolve when they receive electrical energy while they are attacking at Shelmet. Yes. You are... <sighs> You're a Smurf. You're a little blue thing, therefore you must be a smurf. And we got a Lumberry. Ockerberries, don't know what these are. Other than Orin, I'm not aware of any other ones. No, we're not going to save. So I'm just going to fly back now and we're going to end the episode. But we'll, we'll have a quick look at this Carablast, see if it's any good. It will take a lot for me to put a Carablast in my party, I think. Even though I said we were a bit low on the old bug type. It's not the type where you go like, oh shoot, I really wish I had, you know, a few more bug types. It's the type where you go like, well, I've got one, that's more than enough. It's one too many, honestly. But I like to represent. Yeah, you're, you're pretty good on your attack. It's a pity your nature is kind of garbage. So I think you are not good enough. Sadly. Uh, and that'll do it for this part. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like, and subscribe? Everything helps me out. And I'll see you next time where we can go through the bug-infested woods. Goodbye.